Where have you been? <laughs> Where have I been? That's a better question, right? I totally get that. I've gotten messages from so many people over the past several months. Rich, what's going on with Death by Bungie? Are we going to see any more videos? Is everything okay? And I'm happy to report that everything is, in fact, okay. Had a very good spring. And I'm going to talk to you in this video about the past, the present, and the future of Death by Bungie and what it means for you as crossbow hunters, friends of Bungie, and the like, right? Starting off with the past, I want you to know everything's been great here in the kingdom of Bungie. I've been doing very well. I just want you to know that in the spring, sometime around February, I decided to run for district attorney. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did you? That's right. Here in my home county of Bradford County, Pennsylvania, I ran for district attorney. I am happy to announce that I got not only the Republican nomination, I'm a lifelong Republican, fifth generation Bradford County Republican, actually, but I have also obtained the Democratic nomination as well. So I will be in the fall the only person on the ticket for the uh, district attorney race. So come January of 2024, I should be the new district attorney for my home county. Very proud of that. It's something those of you who are longtime friends of Bungie will know that I have been a lawyer my whole career. 25 years I've been in practice, a little over 25 years, right here in my home county. And finally made took the plunge, made that big decision to run for district attorney. And I'm very proud of the hard work that I did and the results of, of all that hard work. And when I say hard work, I want you to know, like I did not take it lightly whatsoever. I was working every waking moment went into that and that's the reason you haven't seen me on YouTube that's the reason you haven't seen me on the Facebook or anything like that I went to every breakfast every dinner I shook hands with every person I went door to door I ran the ads I did the whole kit and caboodle did the interviews the whole bit so I did it, it was a lot of work but it certainly has paid off and I'm very happy for that the nice thing too the present that means I now have some time freed up that uh, primary election was in the spring it was in May May 16th and now I don't have another election until the fall in November I still have to campaign still have to do my job you know as a candidate and help some other candidates who help me out that sort of thing I, I plan to be very active in the uh, political scene you know locally and helping people out but I can breathe a little easier and I have time now over the course of the summer to do two things one is do some videos right talk to you and another thing I get to do this summer is to uh, wrap up a lot of my legal work my cases my private clients so that I will be available for the district attorney job and free of all those other clients have all their needs met so that in the spring of 2024 I can 100% devote myself to that new job very excited about that also when we talk about the present I get to start planning for the future planning for the fall crossbow seasons as well i have not shot bungee bungee the third haven't done anything with crossbows i got them out i got the batteries put back in the burris oracle x scopes so those are ready to go the crossbows are ready to sight in i'm anxious to do that i'm looking forward to doing that but today what i decide to do actually take a little walk around in the kingdom of bungee and check out the status of the food plots i actually for the first time now the first time in 13 years i did not hunt for spring gobbler i am almost in embarrassed to tell you that but that campaign took so much energy I didn't even have time to do that Genevieve went out one or two days but we were, I did not go out we set up a blind and I was down with, here with her and I did frost seed some clover in the food plots the ridge staging food plot and our famous well pad food plot that got a coat of clover as well and I went around and checked on those I'm kind of excited for the fall when I put it down it wasn't uh, necessarily frosting season right and it wasn't really before a rain or anything like that I just put it down the best I could believe it or not I'm happy to say that when I went in there today and looked there's a pretty good coat of clover in there right it looks pretty good it looks salvageable let's say that and I'll add in some more clover seed to fill in the gaps and I'll do some spraying of uh, slay and arrest or whatever get in there with those maybe clean that up as well and I think with a little raking and that sort of thing I can make that plot uh, look as good as it possibly can look come fall with a clover uh, crop and it'll be enough to attract deer no question about that I love clover I just love it and if I can get that to establish there it'll be there next year as well if you take care of it same thing with over there 
over there, the well pad food plot. That well pad food plot, very, very small. And I went and looked at that today. I had no hope for that whatsoever. I did not think that would establish because that's just a weedy mess. It's always a weedy mess. I get in there and look at it. It's got lots of daisies, but under that, there's some clover. I think if I sharpen up my scythe and come in here and lay all those uh, daisies down and all the weeds down, the grasses down, open that plot up, I think that clover will overtake those other weeds and really, really uh, create a banner food plot for the fall. I really think so. So this is a little bit of the of the present that's going on. It's going to be some food plottery going on in here in the kingdom of Bungie. But also, the future's looking pretty good too. So that's the future talk. And, and, one more thing I'm happy to report about. I came down here today and the 100 year old apple tree looks about as good as it did last year at this time. That's a lot. To me, that means a lot. That tree's got a dead branch. I'll cut that off here. Next time we come down, I'll bring a, uh, an extendable pole saw with me and get up there and cut that down best I can uh, to get that off because you don't want the bugs attracted to the tree. You don't want rot on the tree or anything like that. But once we clean that up, that tree might be doing okay. It might be pulling through whatever was affecting it. That's the 100-year-old apple tree, a tree that was planted by my uh, great grandfather, and I call it the hundred-year-old apple tree. It may indeed be one hundred years old. I, it's there's, maybe that's an exaggeration, but it's been here um, a lot longer than me. Let, me. let me just say that, okay? And that's a tree for those of you who are new to Death by Bungie. It's a very precious tree to me, not only because of the family history on this property and that tree, but because it's the last of that orchard that my great grandfather would have planted. That tree is just the greatest source of crossbow hunting uh, opportunity. That I have ever seen in my life. It's just it's good for a deer, a deer, maybe two every other year, and sometimes it surprises you and puts out a, a crop of apples on a even numbered year. Now this is an odd number year. It should have apples this year. However, I think we had a late frost, right? And that killed all the apples at my home property. It killed all the blossoms here at this property that I that I'm seeing as I walked around today. But I think it probably means that the 100 year old apple tree is going to skip a year this year because of that late frost it was a very devastating very serious late frost i mean we got down in the 20s and uh, just wiped all the blossoms out and all that good stuff there was at least one maybe two of those frosts so that tree is probably not going to produce a deer this year but with clover right deer love clover deer love clover and maybe we'll get apples anyway we'll find out we still got lots of other opportunities i i'm still planning trying to figure out what i want to do for the fall i haven't really given it a lot of thought because i've been doing all this other stuff with the campaign and now that i've got that kind of buttoned down a little bit we can get back to what's important in life which is crossbow hunting right <laughs> Um, work comes first, right? Work and family come first. But crossbow hunting, I'm telling you, is something I thought about all the time. And I am so rusty because I haven't even been putting the energy in it at all, shooting at nothing. So I'm anxious to get back in the backyard, the 60-yard backyard, and get back to that, having all these conversations with you guys about crossbows, whether it's here on Facebook or on the YouTube. I look forward to the next video. I hope you do, too. Until next time, all hail Bungie. Bungie.